this video we're going to do the electron configuration for promethium. Promethium has 61 electrons. We're going to use a diagonal rule to help us with this. The diagonal rule will start here, work our way through each one of these arrows. That's 1s, which holds two electrons. Next, we'll go through this arrow, which is 2s, which holds two electrons. Then through 2p, six electrons through 3s. Next, through 3p, and on to 4s. Now, we've got a ways to go here because we've got to get 61 electrons, so we know we're going to go for a while here. 3d, 10, on through 4p, 6, and 25s2. I'm going to stop and count here. I've got 2, 4, 10, 12, 18, 20, 30, 36, 38. Make a note to myself, I'm at 38 right there. And then I'm going to go through 4D. 10 of them is going to take me to 48. 5P6. Take me to 54. And then 6S2. Okay, so I should be, if I was at 38 before, I put in 48, 54, I'm at 56 at this point. All right, then something odd happens. Diagonal rule says we should go through 4F next. However, for some reason, the ones that have 4F actually go down and they put one 5D electron in first. So yeah, I know I didn't follow diagonal rule, but we're going to put one electron in 5D which is going to take me to 57. And then next I go to 4F, because that was where I was supposed to be, is at 4F. And I need, let's see, what was I at? 60, I was at 57, I need 4, so I'm at 4F, 4. So this is one weird place in the diagonal rule. The diagonal rule trips us up a little bit because we go from 6S, 1 into 5D, and then go to 4F after that.